Ahoy hoy, my boils, my ghouls, and my zools. I got my prize rifle from Kalashnikon, so let's take a look. Tactical shooting. Hope you like the new haircut. It was going for like a Lenny Luther, a Superman sort of thing. So, a prize rifle from Kalashnikon. Let's take a look see. What did I get here? I got a Wasser 10 from Century Arms. And I mean, you know, wouldn't have been my first pick of rifle to buy, but. I appreciate a free rifle. So far I could say furniture is real nice. Action's a little rough, but that could be smoothed out. So if you take a look here, you can see the weld. It is still in its sanitized form. It does have a side rail. Pretty standard wasser. Let's see how easily it comes apart. Tight tolerances. Okay. Now oh, we still got a plug in the barrel. Century, century, century. It's a piece of a broken off chamber flag. Good thing I didn't load up around and fucking you have to clean out that barrel too. Barrel's got some shit in there. It's a nice looking rifle at least. We'll have to see how it shoots. I certainly appreciate a free rifle. I've never won a rifle before. Oh, there actually is some oil in here. Ain't gonna lie, it's some rough action for being oiled. Pretty tight tolerances. Everything's going back together real tight, so... Gonna have to break this guy in. I think the plan for this is maybe chop it down. Get a nice little Draco going. Yeah, safety pretty tight factory safety let's see how mags fit it's a US palm ain't gonna lie clicks in a little weird yeah it does click in weird well I do appreciate the rifle thank you so much Century Arms it's definitely a nice looking rifle can't wait to see how it shoots well we're gonna have to cut that guy off I already know what's going to go on there. It's not going to be that 360 break. I know exactly what that's going on. That's going on the next project. Right here. And this is going to be the next project. As you can see, it's got the uh, big old J-Mac on the front there. This is not a comfortable gun to shoot. Blows your face back. And uh, the whole point of this one was supposed to be kind of like a 104, not really like a Draco as you can tell by the furniture but I wanted to have a um, Picatinny back on it so yeah it's got a Picatinny rear trunnion I don't like this brace personally but we're going to change that out that's part of the project got to replace this sight barrel the sight barrel is all clapped out will not hold zero anymore it's already got a pretty nice feeling ALG in it but we're going to have to pull it out and polish it this is actually my first AK. It is a parts kit built on a Nodak Spud receiver. 
Uh, the front trunnion is Romanian, and the rear is just an American Picatinny. You know, actually, I'm not even sure where he sourced that from, to tell you the truth. That's a pretty okay rifle. So that's just a Hogue Picatinny up here. And the bottom was also a Hogue, but it honestly didn't fit very well uh, the way I got it. So it was already too loose, so I just took it off. And you can see it's got no safety in it right now. I used the safety for something else. But this rifle, not a very good shooter because this brake, it just blows your face back. It just completely blows your face back. It's not comfortable to shoot. So I got a break for that. Uh, we're going to pull the trigger out and polish it. Replace this brace on the back. Got another Yugo grip here. This one is a gorgeous glossy one, so might actually keep this one on here. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Might just change it out because, you know, it was the grip it came with. You know, I can't have anything original, even though it's totally surplus. But mags go in and out of this one exactly as they should, though. That's a uh, U.S. Palm. They're big. Big boys. Well, I just wanted to show off my prize rifle, give Century Arms a thank you, and, you know, show our next project that we're going to be working on on the channel here. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, thank you, Century Arms. Y'all stay safe, have fun, do stupid.